Little stinker. Percy was a little fish. He wasn't smart or sporty. He wasn't sweet and kind. In fact, he could be rather naughty. He wasn't that good looking. He was small and kind of spotty. But he was very good at blowing bubbles. <gasps> With his body. Percy's special bubbles often got him into trouble. It's easy to make mischief with a well-timed body bubble. He liked to lie in wait as other fish were swimming past, then flip them upside down with an enormous body blast. As at school, he always tried to cheat whenever they had races by blowing stinky bubbles in the other fish's faces, then using supersonic body burping bubble power He'd rock it off at 99 kilometers an hour. Sometimes during lessons, he would wait for Mrs. Trout to turn her back and then he'd let a whiffy whopper out. Then sneakily, he'd use his tail to waft the beastly bubble behind poor Penny Pufferfish to get her into trouble. One day, a poor old hermit crab was reeling from the smell of the bubbly little present Percy would left inside his shell. That rotten little stinker, cried the crab. Oh, what a pong. It's time to get our own back and it shouldn't take too long. Hey, Percy, cried the hermit crab. If you think you're so clever, why don't you try to blow the biggest body Bubble ever. Percy's face went purple from the pressure as he tried it. Then blah, he blew a huge one. And the crab pushed him inside it. It worked, he shouted. Look, that trumpy troublemaker's trapped. And all the other underwater creatures cheered and clapped. Get me out, gasped Percy, going greener by the minute as the bubble bubble bubbled up and up with Percy in it. Then suddenly the hermit crab dived back into his shell. Look out! The others cried and tried to hide themselves as well. Oh, see those razor, razor teeth, they gasp. Those evil eyes, good grief! It's two ton Tom the Tiger Shark, the terror of the reef. <clears throat> the Tiger Shark saw Percy and said, hmm, a juicy snack, and opened up his massive mouth and moved in to attack. Dinner time! <laughs> he laughed, but just before his jaws could close, the bubble burst and all the woof went wafting up his nose. The shark swam off. Hooray for Percy! All the fishes cried and Percy felt a warm and tingly feeling deep inside. You must be feeling proud, suggested Hermit Crab and, Crab and grinned. Well, maybe, Percy said, but then again, it could be... <gasps> Wind! The Little Stinker